favor? I'll hold it. Oh, okay. You talk to me. Yes. Say and spell your name. Adria Gonzalez. A D R I A Gonzalez G O N Z A L E Z. Adria, you were inside the Walmart today this morning when the shooter came in and killed people, correct? Yes, that's correct. Um, Let's start from the beginning. Um, you woke up today and you decided to go to Walmart. What did you need to get? What's going on? Um, it was a normal Saturday just going and doing our things. And uh, my mom and I were going to, we did our list for a grocery list. And uh, we decided to go to Walmart because that's where we shop. It's close by. And um, we dropped out um, my spouse to, to the gym. And What does your spouse do? And what do you do? Uh, my spouse is in the military. She's a captain for Fort Bliss, uh, for the Army. And I work for Fort Bliss. I'm an assistant teacher for the Children and Youth Center. Um, You're on your way to Walmart. And we were, oh, you know, we were going to Walmart as, you know, normal, normal morning. And uh, me and my mom went to the... Uh, to to get a uh, milk and once we got the milk we were going towards the fruit alley and when we got to the fruit alley we heard like shots like three shots boom 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 one two three and and I told my mother mom it there are gunshots we need to go and she just froze and did not move and I told her let's move get down get down and from far, far away, maybe like 15 feet away, I saw the shooter. He was wearing a black t-shirt, um, some brown khaki pants, and he was wearing some mugs, like those to protect your ears from. Um, and he just started to shoot everyone. Um, just started to shoot, and, and what I did, my first instant was to get people out of there. Uh, I probably shouted, they're shooting, they're shooting, get out. Uh, I believe I pushed people out of the X and maybe like, probably like 48 people out of there and just told them to get out. And, and, uh, <sighs> and then there was this, this senior citizen lady that I tried to help and I couldn't and I just told her, to move faster and she couldn't move faster so I left her there and I needed to get out because the shooter was getting closer and closer and so I was just just I just told you to get down and hide and then I left her and, and we just ran outside and got everybody and, and and just told everybody to just run out and just go far far away as we can so we we actually started running uh, we uh, came out to Sam's and then from Sam's uh, we ran more farther away because we still heard some maybe like two two gunshots more outside. Did the woman get out? I don't know. I Hopefully she did. Um, I hope she, there's, there were a lot of people that, that couldn't get out up there. Did you see people on the ground? Yes. And then there was this man who was like with all blood on him because um, he told us that he actually carried a, a child with him and that got shot and he was all covered with blood so but yeah I, I did see uh, a child uh, got shot and uh, I saw bodies outside do you know how many bodies that you saw I only saw two what were people saying that were there inside People were just shocked. They, they, they were they were frozen. They were just running away from the scene. Uh, people were saying, "What's going on? What's going on?" Uh, other people were saying, "My family member is there. Um, please call them." Or uh, people sending messages to everybody on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, you know, saying, "Be careful. Do not go outside." Um, we were all helping each other. I also um, want to thank a lady who actually picked us up, me and my mother, and uh, also some uh, Walmart employees got into their cars. And, and also I want to thank them because they also helped us to get away from there in their car. 
did the killer say anything? Did the shooter say anything at all? Was he making any type of movement, anything out of the ordinary? Did he just look like a regular person walking in the store? Yeah, he looked just a regular person. But um, as as an army wife, I, I do take care of myself and my surroundings, uh, where everything is, just in case, you know, you never know what could happen. And and I, I he didn't say anything. He just start he walked in and start shooting at everybody and and we just we hide we were hiding there for maybe like 10 minutes until everything was calm and we i i started pushing people out of walmart and just telling them to get out get out did you see what kind of weapon he was carrying what he was using Yes, I, we did see it was a, 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 a maybe like a AK, but we d I didn't see what type of AK. The only thing I saw was it looked like an AK. Like a rifle. Yes, sir. Like a banana clip. Yes, yes. That's that's the the only thing that I saw, and I saw him that he had khaki b pants with a black shirt. That's all. That's all that I saw. Did you see him walk in by any chance, or you just? I mean, I'm sure you weren't thinking about this is the guy that's about to do all these things. I mean, no, no, no. Um, I didn't see him walking in. The only thing I, I, the first thing I, I heard was the gunshots, and then when I turned around, and to see what was going on, that's when I saw him, and that's when I ran back with my mom and I told her, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I started to help the uh, senior citizen help her get out. Um, and just getting people out of there, just letting them know we need to exit out. Did you see anybody get shot? Yes. Can you describe that? It's hard to say, but um, uh, it, was a, it was a kid. Uh, maybe around six, seven years old. Um, it was shocking. I, I did see it. Um, I, I believe, I, I don't know where he got shot, but the only thing I, I, I saw was he got shot and we ran outside. We, we needed to. Um, did you see the police officers come in? You know, we can stop right now. It's okay. Um, it's going to be okay, sweetie. It's okay. Oh, well. You did good. You did real good. You helped a lot of people. You know that? You did real good. You don't worry. That's what I'm proud of. You should be. You should be proud I, of. I, I, I am proud of myself because I, I couldn't do more than, than I could, you know, and I tried to, to save every person that I could have. Uh, can you think of how many you probably could save? Can you imagine that if you weren't there? I don't know, probably, I don't know, I, with all this, I, I don't remember, but maybe like around 20 or even 40. All right, um, is there anything you'd like to say? Maybe I did not ask you that you'd like to go to El Paso? To El Paso, to, to my hometown where I was born and raised. Um, let's just focus on what, you know, what we have to do and have a solution out of it. Let's not focus on politics and what's going on right now what we have to do right now is focus on a solution um, I would never expect this for my hometown this to happen um, is it the safest city in America I don't know with with everything what's going on I don't know I don't know okay. and again Audra I have to ask you you were at the Walmart today at 10 o'clock when the shooter did come in Okay. Okay. Hey, great job. You did good. Very, very proud of you. Very proud to say you're from El Paso. And I bet your wife is too. Oh, yeah. You did a great job, Adria. Thank you very much for talking to us. We'll talk to you soon, sweetie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anytime.